Hey everyone, and welcome back to Holds Bard, the channel where I pretty much do whatever the fuck I feel like. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's relevant things, usually a lot of times it's makeup, sometimes it's electronics, um, but today it's none of that. It's just some fun shit, because I don't even know what's in these days. Oh, these cute, yeah, they were $5 at Michael's. And they're surprise bags. I've got no idea what's in here. Okay, a little bit of an idea. A little bit. I know that there's like some leftover like Easter stuff. They probably just had like too much stuff left over because of like the whole like shit that's going on in the world or you know, everything was closed for a while. But it was five bucks a bag and I don't know what's in them and I figured it'd be fun to just like look through it. Cause I've never done anything like that and like why the fuck not? But I did go to Michael's for a reason. I didn't find what I was looking for. I was there to look for like some artsy stuff, like those diamond painting things. Because I got into glasses and I can see better than I could with the old ones. I'm still not like 100%. You have asked for a video about like glasses and, and what's going on with my vision that's coming. I'm just waiting for my optometrist to like really give me like how to explain things properly because I, I do want to explain things properly for all of you. So, should be coming quite soon. But right now, like, this is just, like, fun. I want to look through that. And speaking of fun, it's Pride Month. So, happy Pride, y'all. And then, yeah, there's, look at this shirt. If you can read that one up there. Um, it says, no place for homophobia, fascism, sexism, racism, or hate. And I got that shirt from XOXO Fifth Avenue. The link used to be down here. Um, but I used to be, like, an ambassador there. Not that I don't like their stuff, I just kind of stopped. Don't know why. I still buy things from there once in a while. Uh, the heart necklace with the heartbeat that I usually wear comes from there as well. If you're wondering how to get a shirt like that, just like leave a message down below and I'll find it again. But yeah, it's pride. And, and let's celebrate the happiness that goes along with that. But also, I want to see what the fuck is in these bags. Like, they're fucking huge for five bucks. Like, this is just one. Now, things might repeat in them. I don't know. I mean, it is five bucks. If there's some extra stuff in here, like I do have some of my friends that also do crafty things. So maybe there'll be something, you know, I can give to a friend or even just like donate to maybe like some families that have kids that are just bored. And as well, there's a little meow running around. I just got a kitten. She's eight weeks old. Right now, she's sleeping. She's sleeping on the lamp for my, my nails because I didn't do my nails today. Um, but she'll wake up soon and want to come crawling around here. So you might see her run. But let's look into the first one. And like I said, they're huge. Um, I, I tried to peek a little bit, just a little bit, uh, to not get the ones that had like the basket, which is why I'm thinking there's like leftover Easter stuff. But, you know, first thing I see on this one is... Um, these little Easter eggs. So, can I do something with this? Maybe, probably. I mean, yeah. My house is coming along to be like the way that I like it, but there's still some decorations missing. Like, I want to like decorate like every single little corner. I mean, I'll figure something out with that. I'm happy with that one. Um, yeah, there's a couple baskets in here. But, ooh, look, same thing just with some glitter. Yeah. The truth is with glitter, I love glitter, all right? Like, if you know me, you know me, I love glitter. Um, like once you get glitter in your house, you, you can't get rid of it. Um, burn your house to the ground. <laughs> That's how it goes. Um, what else is in here? So, this is collage clay. I don't fucking know what that is. Vanilla. So this is like to make a cake? Is this really is? Use under adult supervision. Damn, I'm gonna need help to use this thing. So this is what it is. Um. Yeah, I guess it's like some icing thing? I don't know, let's look it up. But it says you need to have adult supervision. So I'm gonna have to call a friend of mine to come help me do this. Cause, you know, I'm not an adult yet. <laughs> okay. 
I am an adult. I just don't. What? What is this thing? Not for use by children under eight years old. Product is not food and is not edible. Do not ingest, chew, or swallow. It really looks like icing. Like it looks like it's like a little icing bag. And then there's like tips for it. But it's for, okay. Oh, the vanilla might be the color to say that it's white in color. That's what the vanilla is for. Okay, well then today's inclusivity everything. I don't know how I feel about naming colors anymore. So it's for crafts. So it's when you want to make crafts that look like food. Damn. I'm going to get hungry from the crafts. And yeah, I gained a little bit of weight over this, you know, time. Not that bad though. Like, oh, for me, it sucks. It's affecting my kidneys. My kidney function has kind of gone down a little bit. We're hoping that, you know, that I got the diet now. Because like a lot of the gluten-free stuff was just fucking sold out. And I just couldn't access it. But it's coming back into the stores now. We're hoping to get my kidney function up again because it only went down about 3%. So hopefully if I can start like doing like more exercises and all that kind of whatnot, get that up there. But uh, I did gain a little bit of weight that I still fit like in my clothes. They just fit a little bit tighter. Um, I heard some people that said they can't fit in their jeans anymore, but whatever. If this isn't the time to try to do a diet, if you're not at your most productive right now, that's okay. The world's in crisis. Um, the next thing is just like this, this filler stuff for like baskets. So maybe I'll make a basket for a friend. I don't know. More, ooh, this one's like the not holographic. Christine will come for me. But, um, a little some of it is hollow. It is hollow. It's holographic if it reflects all the colors of the rainbow. If not, it's duochrome. And it does reflect all the colors still in there. <laughs> My friends are going to get the funniest shit, man. Um, yeah. Here's some baskets. Ooh, there's another song about like baskets. Little yellow basket. I don't know. Here are three little... <gasps> you know what? I'm really into plants. Like, I've got a bunch of plants in my house because it really looks nice. We have a bunch of plants. We have a bunch of plants. Makes your house look nice. I don't know. Maybe my kitten will like to sleep in this. It's put on the floor. She is... She is zonked out under there. Next thing I see in here is some ribbon. It does say something about Easter, but it's just like some plaid ribbon. Oh, she's waking up. She is waking up. She is waking up. I can hear her. Hi, meow. What are you doing? You all ready to meet Chloe? Look. Say hi, Chloe. Say hi. You want to say hi? Oh, you're purring. I can feel you. You're like a rumbly. Okay, you want to help me look at all this stuff? Oh, you're stuck in my shirt. Okay, all new stuff. Okay, there's a next thing that says brides. I, I ain't never going to be into those. This is like super heavy. This is probably like invitation kits, wedding invitation kits. I'm, I'm never getting married. Nobody is crazy enough to ever... Oh, these are really cute too. I'm sure that there's people in my community that are planning on getting married and, you know, funds are low. So we're definitely going to keep this aside and we'll definitely donate that to someone in the community for sure. So, what do you think, Chloe? Yeah? So there's more of this, like, this filler stuff. This could probably go with the bride thing. Again, I've got no freaking idea what's in here. I know it's crafty stuff, but... All right, so I get two of these things. Pro refill. Is this ink or something? Includes 3D ink cartridge, fine tip pen, use with Pro. So some kind of printer needs this kind of ink. I don't know. I'll donate it. There's also more than one of the same color. Chloe, you're being smushed. All right. All right. So this is kind of cute. This is, I don't know what this is. Looks like this. I think it's like a notebook or a cover for a notebook maybe. 
Oh, it's a little tiny like notebook with like a, a date book and like some notes. Hmm, that's cute and it's got like wallet on the side. That's cute. Oh man, I'm gonna make up a bunch of like donation things and just give shit away to people. That's gonna be so much fun. I love doing that. Like my friends never walk out of my house with empty hands and that's just the fun of everything. So, all right. The next thing is some mini coloring pages, but they're minions. Ooh. So that's what was in there. So you can see like the sale price. They were on sale for a while. Um, like this was down to $6.97. The whole bag was five bucks. So that's not a loss at all. And what are you looking for, Chloe? Oh, she's playing with my lip stuff because I do have a couple just laying out there. They roll around. She's having fun. I'm having fun. I've only had her for a week. Brought her to the vet yesterday. Perfectly healthy kitten. So, got her shots and all that whatnot. Next thing is um, some foam stickers. And they're in the shape of little hearts. So, you know. If I ever want to write a love note. Love is dead, man. Just, just don't fucking get me started on that bullshit. Um, alright. So, ooh, more ribbon. Oh, this is cute. I know it's probably for, like, Easter, but can you see the pattern on it? I'm gonna make something with that. Yeah. Speaking of crafts, I did this the other day and I was actually pretty proud of myself. It's all like the glitters. I was super inspired. She goes by Major Sparkle 3, I think. I'll put her Instagram link below. She does a lot of like the Jeffree Star mirrors and she's been on like Shane Dawson's YouTube channel a couple times because and she's just awesome. And I just wanted to do a Hello Kitty on a mirror. And uh, I did one, and I was pretty proud of myself. Okay, I have a cookie cutter and a nine. Or I can do a six and a nine, and we can make cookies like that. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, you're just going around in circles, girl. Ooh, these are heavy. They're, okay, there's those letters on them, which kind of sucks, but they're like cuter. She like holds pictures. That's cool. They're originally like seven bucks each, but two inch by two inch. I know that I have friends that would love, like they probably have a pet that has like those names in there. Duct tape! Yes! I love duct tape. Y'all don't understand how much I love duct tape. Look, I used to have a collection of like different kind of duct tapes. Like this one has like the frozen stuff on it. And at one point in time, um, I moved into this apartment because I still had my roommate. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? I was living with my roommate, Martin. We lived together for like four or five years. And the place where we had moved there was um, like a lawn chair just sitting there. And for the fun of it, I took like my textured or, you know, graphic duct tape. And I just rooted and decorated the chair. And this is what it looks like. And that was content of the bag number one. She is still playing around and she's so fucking cute. All right, let's try another one here. She's gonna get a little pissed off. So I do know that there's something like quite bigger because the, I mean, that's what she said, right? Actually, that is not what she said because I was there I heard what she said and it wasn't that but I have no idea what is in here um celebrate it okay something about letters and numbers what the fuck is this usually it's a cake pan <laughs> cool number and alpha pan non-stick oven safe okay I get it so it just has like these shapes but in the back it tells you how to put the shapes together in order to make numbers and letters. That is really cool. One of my really good friends, she's a neighbor downstairs, she loves to cook, she loves to bake. And how much was this originally? This was originally $40. And again, I think $5 for the entire bag. So this is awesome. And again, gonna get donated somewhere. Just cause I, don't, I mean, I do bake, but again, gluten-free baking is kind of like difficult, mostly the fact that I can't have eggs either. So I just don't eat the baking stuff. Ooh, more of that non-edible icing, but this one is in strawberry. So, 
And um, hi Chloe, you're, you're having a good time, aren't you? So it's the same thing as the other one. I might be starting to do some decorating. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it, but we'll figure something out. Everything's fine. Ooh, more of these. More of the same little pewter. Oh, this one's off. upside down. There you go. What letters are on this one? Q T. Ooh, that means a pie. Look at the Q R E. Q T pie. Okay, I can't hit on people. Okay, I don't know how to flirt. I don't know how to do any of that shit. Like that's why I'm still single. Okay, that is, and I'm annoying as fuck. What are you doing? You're about to fall off there, little girl. She went to the vet yesterday, like I said, and they, they cut her old nails, so now she can't climb on anything. Um, there is a tiny little ribbon with some bunnies on them. That is so cute. Again, more baskets. More baskets. <laughs> I was aware that there was going to be a lot of baskets in here, okay? And there's more of these ink cartridges. I don't know what they're for. I'll figure out what they're for. I'm sure someone in my city has that machine and needs it for something. Here's another ribbon. Ooh. These are pretty. Again, the friend that's downstairs that cooks a lot, she's also a seamstress, so a lot of this stuff she might be able to do something with. And ooh, look at this. This is a fun thing. It's like a magnetic drawing. Okay, I'm going to open this one and play with it. We, we got to do that. And Chloe's trying to figure out how to get down. Do you want to get down? Okay, go play now. There you go. She's going to cry in like three seconds to come back up. Because she's a kitten. And she can't make up her mind. Just like any other child. Alright. Throw that back there. So, this is what it is. It's very cheap, very rudimentary. But, you know, the child in me needs to play. Oh, it works. So, I did draw a little heart. And then, woo, okay. Let's draw a broken heart because my heart is just not necessarily broken. It just, hey, good job. Look. Yes. I do have friends that have like young children. So, probably I'm going to donate that to a friend of mine to keep their kids occupied in the car or something like that. Um, more ribbon, but this one is still the pink with the polka dots. Oh, there's matching ribbon everywhere. All right, that is the content of bag number two. If y'all could see how I can't get to bag number three, because she's just sitting on the top of it, just like chilling like a villain. Okay, move, move. Thank you. All right. There is more bigger things in here. So, ooh, I think this is like a stationary thing. Yes, I love stationary, I really do. This is originally $3 for this whole thing. The box is quite beat up for it. Um, it has some kind of tape with it. What the heck is this thing? Oh, maybe it's like a bullet journal thing. I don't do that, but I do have like my reckless journal. That I haven't really gotten around to do as much as I want to with that Instagram because we weren't allowed to go anywhere and a lot of the wreck this journal and where I got it was to get me go out and like do stuff because again I have really really crippling anxiety um, and it's all staying home all this stuff is making things so much worse like the way that you go and, and you get over social anxiety is to just go out there and do shit. And I haven't been able to go out there and do stuff, so it's like slowly creeping back up. And I don't want it to take over my life like it did all those other years ago, but it's hard. And what do you want, computer? Okay, so get this out of there. So that was the point of getting a this journal was to get me to go out, get more comfortable being outside, and like just going to like one store to get one thing. Even though now, like my personal assistant that I call her for shopping. Um, she can help me out and stuff now, but I mean, it, it's like there's, there's worse things that can happen, but debilitating anxiety is not something that I would wish upon my worst enemy. Um, what's in here? So there's some little cards, and I think you can slide like one into here, and then there's just love member. It's, it's kind of like a little scrapbook, I suppose. I, I don't have... I don't have any memories that I don't want to remember. There's a lot of shit I don't remember. 
um, but whatever. Life happens, you learn, and you move on. So, alright. This is a cool pen. I have a thing for really good pens. What the fuck kind of pen is this? I don't know, man. Look at this. Can y'all see that? There's like some kind of like wax on the tip of the pen. Or maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Like, I love a good pen. This has a good weight to it. And I didn't realize this till I read a Reddit thread the other day, how, like, collecting pens is, like, a thing. Okay, you just pull that little waxy part off. Went out and found my Dollarama little posty notes little thingies here. So, let's see if the pen rings. It does not write very well. Not at all. The ink sometimes exists and sometimes it don't. That's what I ended up doing. You can see that part. See it? Okay, so let's just be real. I might have new glasses. This is the newest prescription, like the best they can get me to be. And I still can't see like my little monitor if I'm actually like in focus or not, even with the new glasses. On. So, like I said, there's gonna be a video about that. I just need like correct terms and stuff like that from my optometrist and you know I know her personally anyway so we're just waiting because she's got a backlog of things but um Chloe she is trying so I just got a new ring light too I'm super happy 40 bucks on Amazon it's awesome she tried to play with the cord what are you doing silly she's just playing all right so this is some kind of like scrapbook thing I'm definitely keeping this for myself and I'm running out of places to put things on my desk more of this from the floor. There is definitely oh, there's different kinds of baskets. Oh, more eggs first. More eggs. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do with these eggs is like drill a little hole in like one end and then just find like I do have like smaller strings of just like Christmas lights and then just stick this over like the Christmas lights and then I'll just have like colored eggs lights hanging somewhere in my house like that could be cool that 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 could be a thing a vibe is that what they call it vibe I don't know I watch a lot of itsy boy and Sean just says vibe every five that should be like you know drinking game if you watch itsy boy if, if you have it go check it out I'll link the channel below he's Canadian he's hilarious does a lot of like wish buying things and everything's a vibe for him so that's a new drinking game. Every time Sean says vibe, take a shot. You'll get drunk real quick. Um, this is a very, oh, I love this basket. It's very like earthy looking. And there's just this random yarn in there. <laughs> there's like this random yarn in there too, but it's all kind of like looped around there. Like that is going to make a really, really cute decoration. I could probably put like a plant in it. Like, the plant needs to be, like, in another pot, obviously, but... And there's something else in the bottom. Oh, oh. More lovey-dovey heart shit. <laughs> Look, I've actually always been this cynical about love and shit. Um, so it's not, like, a new thing. I just decided to stop hiding it, because, well... Let's just, just be honest. I think there's too much shit out there in the world that... That makes everybody believe that... You know, there's like a, a white knight coming to save them, or you know that we're gonna find their their perfect soulmate or whatever, and it's just not gonna happen. Sometimes it's, it's just not there. That's all I gotta say. Learn to love yourself. Learn to be happy around, you know, your own presence, and, and you'll be all right. I am looking at something that I have no idea. Okay, kind of fell out of the bag, you know, because I ripped it open. Um. Okay, all this is is like lids for jars, just like lids. It does have like an idea of what you can do with it, but if there isn't a hole in the middle, you'd actually have to like drill a hole in the middle. And and like between me and and I said my friend downstairs is the seamstress and that likes to cook all the time. Like between the two of us, you pretty much have like every tool imaginable. You know, we're also queer as fuck. Pride month, so we we don't really need the men. Sometimes it's fun, all right? If you like the person for who they are, let's just be honest. 
I like the person who they are as a person, you know, whatever gender they are or aren't doesn't really matter. But these days, everybody's so fucking fake. It's so hard to, f to find a genuine person. And sometimes, you know, there's certain values and stuff that I'm not willing to budge on, which just ends up that... And that's okay with me. Uh, this next thing here, ooh, hair boutique. This was originally 10 bucks. What the fuck? Again, I paid five bucks for each bag. Like, this is not worth the 10 bucks. Can you see it? Like, it's just like a little... I mean, they're cute hair bands. Like, I will definitely wear this little pastel one, and I'll definitely wear this. Actually, this could make a really nice necklace, like a choker kind of a thing. Definitely. Um, but for 10 bucks, all of these three, no, man. Uh -uh. Now, okay, this, this is doll clothes. I don't play with dolls anymore. I never really played with dolls at all when I was a kid. Um, what did I play with? Can't remember. I was talking with my best friend the other day because I've had it. Like some of my friends, we've been friends since we're like three or four, four, five, whatever. Long fucking time. Okay, I'm almost forty. Um, Battle Beasts. Who the fuck remembers Battle Beasts? There were like these little action figures, and on the front they had like a little, and it would tell you like if they they were like. The Autobots or the whatever Decepticons, but it was a whole different thing because it was Battle Beast. Like one was good, one was bad. You took your thumb on it, and then the heat from your thumb would let you know like what side they were on. Battle Beast. That's what I played with when I was younger. And and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And one day, as we all went to like the same daycare, because it was like one daycare in the little village I grew up from. And then it wasn't like this person's like backyard actually, you know. It was like the basement in the backyard where we play. So, me and, and my two best friends, again, we've been friends since, like, we were in four or five, we decided that we were going to dig to China, because we had kind of learned that, you know, the Earth is round, right? It's round. It, it, it's, it's round. And that China is kind of, like, on the opposite side of the axis, and we thought we could dig to China. And, and they let us. All summer long, that's what we, we did. We just dug a hole in. And it was quite deep. Like, it was a couple feet deep by the time, like, her husband came by, and he's like, okay, we need to teach you about the world, how you can't really dig to China. Um, but yeah, doll clothes, I don't know. Again, I will definitely donate this to someone that has kids. And there's more of this ink. There is so much of this orange ink. I'm assuming nobody likes to print orange or whatever the heck it's for. Um, ooh, glitter. Okay, this is like a can holder for like your, your beer cans but it's full of glitter. Well, I don't really drink alcohol. Sometimes I do. And like things are finally starting to open up here and again, so this summer I'm determined to really go out and, and live it up. Like last year my goal was to go out enough to get my freckles back and to get a tan line. And I actually have to take my watch off I had a tan line last year, and now it's kind of starting to come back, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, and this year, I actually bought myself a bathing suit so that I can go out with my friends. Like, we have a lot of beaches around here, but we also have this great place called, like, Gordon Falls, where a lot of people go. It's just, like, a natural, like, brook stream that's pretty, like, turns into, like, a pretty big thing. And there's, like, these nice little tide pools, and there's, like, a obviously a waterfall and jump off and stuff like I'm not gonna jump off and like that and my friends were, were not like that adventurous of people but they like to just go like hang out there mostly in like like the shallow pools of the, the cold water and like you know have a couple drinks and and talk around so I will be using this maybe I'll get drunk maybe I'll just drink some Pepsi I don't know but all I know is that I bought myself a bikini and I'm fucking wearing it so Fuck what people think what bodies should look like. My body is not perfect, but it's mine, and I've lost a lot of weight. I gotta be happy for this shit. Like, and again, don't try to fit into societal norms because there is no actual fucking normal. Okay, just just be happy with what you got, and and more love hearts. Maybe I'll write myself a love note. I'll ask myself to marry myself because. That's another thing in, in my life. Even if I were to meet somebody, even like I'm, I still want to have like my own house. How many people are like that? I'm sure I know there's other people like that in this world. Like, I, 
I still want to have my own house to come and, and do my own thing. And what the hell am I holding in my hand? It was originally eight bucks, and it's an accessory, and this was a bracelet. It's got nothing but glitter in it. Whew. 1988 called. They want their shit back, and they ain't getting it back, because I am all for this stuff. The child of the 80s, take me back. Take me back to the 90s. Because some of the clothes you're seeing back there, it's stuff from Dolls Kill. Delia's. Yes. I'm living my 90s dream now. Like, I... We had no access to those kinds of things when I was a teenager. And I see a little piggy thingy, and it's so fucking cute. Oh my gosh, let me get this out. This is originally $8. Again, five bucks per day. This is gonna go like somewhere over there or in my living room where I have like all my collection stuff. But it's just a tiny little pig. It's so fucking cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it squeaks. Does it, does his tongue stick out? No. It just squeaks. Let's see what the cat has to say about that. No. The kitten's fast asleep under there. Doesn't even give a fucking hoot. <laughs> She's great though, I love her. Huh, look at that, we're almost at the end. This was super fucking fun. Okay, more orange ink stuff. So I got another number nine. So I could definitely make some cookies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, again, this is not necessarily intended for children. But, I mean, if there's some that, that watch. Um, there's another video of mine that, that's on the playlist where I talk about the fact that, you know, real men, you know, they, they are real women. Like, real people in general. They don't really care if you have, like, the perfect body size. Because people just really want a connection. They want to meet someone that they care about. That, you know, I mean, of course... They would love if, you know, they could all just marry a model. But, you know, when you love somebody enough for who they are, their physical just becomes just as much as attractive. Um, and, and I talk about a little bit of, of my life and, and my way. And the joke to all that is that friends were over last night and um, we decided to take, like, the BDSM test just to see what it was. Look, I didn't even take a test to know <laughs> that this was the result. This is my life. This is who I am. And there's a lot of my personal life that you don't need to know. But the fact that I'm queer as fuck is nothing that I have to hide. Nothing that I'm ashamed of. It's me. That's who I am. So I don't really give a shit about that. Um, okay, more of this packaging stuff. And some glue. I got some yellow glue. This is probably the first step to making slime. I, I wanted to buy some slime, but it's fucking expensive. I want, I just, I love the slime videos on, on Instagram. If, if you follow on Instagram, go see who I follow. <laughs> there's a bunch, there's a bunch. And now there's this new crunchy slime. The outside of it is nice and shiny and then you go crunch and then it's slime. I want some of that, but I have no fucking idea where to find it. But this here, light duty staples. Okay, I, I can use staples. I mean, every, but what the, f I think this is for like crafting though. No, they're just like regular staples. I want to see how cute my staple is. Hold on. All right, look. It's tiny. And uh, it, it works. I bought this when I was in college because I needed a couple things, you know. Because we had a lot of paperwork to give in college. We had a lot of fucking assignments. I did them all. So um, now I got more staples. Damn, can I remember how to put the staples in this thing? Wait. Oh, there's instructions. I never read instructions anyway. All right, so you open it like this, the staples down there, and then slide it. No, they don't fit in a regular stapler, that one. And this is the one that, the length is different. So they don't fit. I'm gonna put the, okay, sideways. Me and, and small objects have our difficulties but we can do it so far we can still do it All right so yeah put the staples that way put the smaller staples in there the ones that was there and, just, and then you get a staper all right cool it's like a couple bucks it's a good idea like 
you never know when you need a stapler. Like, I needed it for college, but I'm glad that I still had it, because sometimes I just need to staple things together. And, and, yeah, go where you want with that thought, because I went there. <laughs> Alright, what else is in here? We're almost done. A letter pretender. I don't fucking know what that means, but all I know is that it's like a clip, and it's cute. Let's, let's just take it out of this thing. This was originally $10. That's like really pretty, like on its own. And it is the letter G. Do I know anybody with the name? G. No, but I can figure something out. That. I got an idea. This is just the plainest ribbon ever. It looks like tweed or some shit. Like, I'm not impressed by this ribbon at all. But I love these ones over here. I'm gonna give these to like my seamstress friend downstairs. Cause these are so cute. She can obviously do something with that. And and maybe if I give her enough like extra supplies, like this stuff, she will make me a nice shirt out of her Hello Kitty fabric. Because again, some of the doll skill clothes back there are some Hello Kitty things. So more milk bottle covers. And I think that is it. Oh no, there's more letters! And more of this ribbon. More of this ribbon. So we have three now. We have three of the polka dot ribbon. Oh. Wow. I'm thinking maybe I can do something with that. So the other letters that I have, let's see if there's anything else in this bag. I can't tell what letter these are. I do think this letter is a P, which is the last, which is a letter in my last name, both my legal last name and the last name that I use for social media, because my last name for social media is not my legal last name. It is the name that my father used when he wrestled in Germany, because I don't need y'all, I don't need my dad's fans up in my shit, okay? They were there for a while, I closed everything off like seven years ago, I, I just, just don't need to hear about all your fantasies about my father. But, um, go. These are really cute. I wonder what I could do with them. I'm gonna figure something out. Because these are really cute. Ooh! This is a letter F, which is kind of cool because my stepdad's last name starts with an F. And my stepdad never, like, officially adopted me or anything like that because it wasn't really needed. Um, which is kind of touch on that subject because again glasses autoimmune disorders I, I have health issues that we're trying our best to you know deal with and, and keep at bay as long as we can I looked through some old paperwork because I did get all of uh, my health records my dad is the one who signed for my surgery so I got surgery on my nose when I was like 16 um, I just had like really really bad like nosebleeds and stuff like that and it turns out that I kind of partially had a broken nose so they had to do surgery for that. And my dad's the one who signed for it and I was about like 16. It just goes to show, like that was 20, 22 years ago that I got that surgery done. Um, back then, like they didn't really ask questions. Like obviously my mom and my stepdad weren't even married at the time yet because they were together for a long time before they got married. My point is, is that they let some guy that doesn't have my last name I mean, he showed up with me, but, like, legally, he has, like, nothing to do with me. He's only signed for that, so, I mean, whatever. This is, you know, the letter of his last name. So, yeah, we might do, um, something with that. And, actually, all of those three letters are all the letters in, um, my mom's initials. And, um, we still don't talk. And I don't know if that's like a sign from above that we should. I, I'm not. No. No. So, let's wrap up what we got. Well, here's the wrap up. Everything that we got for $15, because it was three surprise bags, five bucks each. So we got a lot of this awesome ribbon, which can definitely be used. I'll give to a friend. Try not to knock them over. This invitation wedding invitation that I will donate I'll just ask on Facebook if there's someone out there that needs I'm sure there's someone that needs it it's actually a really nice box um, I don't know what the original price was 
but it's really nice. Lots of these like little eggs. So three. No, four. No, I guess I just got three. I, I was pretty sure I got four, but there's three of them. We're going to make some lights out of this for sure. We got a heck of a whole lot of this basket stuff and stuff. And we got a lot of baskets. We got all of these baskets. So six of them. Some of these little foam heart applique craft things. A lot of this ink that I don't even know what it's for. There's one blue one and then there's one, two, there's five of this orange color. So if you know, if you know what this is for, let me know so that I can, you know, properly tell people that might need it that I have some extra for them. We did get this cool basket. Again, I really like this one. Really looks like down to like earth, mossy tones to it. And I mean, there's a yarn thing in there. Um, I don't think they're supposed to go together because like there's actually the, the tag for the yarn here. But the fact that they had the idea of like wrapping it up like that is a great idea. I'm going to do that. I will put this in my house. My cat will probably destroy it, but that's okay because she's the cutest thing ever. And we also got this really cool cake pan that lets you do letters and numbers. So you can make like a whole cake that spells out something if you want to. Like, it's a lot of fucking work, but like, maybe you have the time now. Some covers. There you go. Actually, again, my friend, she's got a lot of things on the go right now. Um, because we are all hurting together because her husband was a big part of our friendship, like our group of friends. And we did lose him to cancer. And, and we say we because we were always there, we were always hung out there, and we were all joke around that you know, he was all our husbands because he was just like a really, really nice guy. And um, you know, I don't blame her for, for having a tough time. So she's got a lot of projects going on in her house, and one of them is a coffee bar that she, she took like an awesome shelf unit that she had. It wasn't really a bookshelf, it was like a shelf. And then she painted it all up, and she's got like her coffee cups and all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure she actually could use these for some projects because she actually makes like custom coffee cups for fun of it. So she could probably use these. I'll give those to her for sure. And we got four of these little mini pewter like they're to hold pictures. So I have the letters. Um U Q T O. Probably because there's not a lot of names that start with those letters. But you know. We'll figure something out. And again, speaking of letters, we got like these cool anagram things. I don't know where the third one went. Summer's in the pile of stuff. <laughs> and this, you know, glitter. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Like, Cindy Lauper the hell out of this fucking joint. Um, some doll clothes. Gonna give that away. Some minion stuff. Again, we are going to donate that. This is just a little journal. Part. I have a friend of mine that really loves journaling. Um, you can probably put your own in there. Let me give that to her. We have our cookie cutters. Yeah, I mean, just the fact I only needed one, but. Okay. I'm queer as fuck and kinky as fuck. So shut the fuck up. Um, a nice little glitter beverage holder and some yellow glue. So we're going to make some slime off of that. Speaking of slime, we got two of these non-edible icings. So vanilla and strawberry. I hope this is like that puffy paint because we can definitely do something with that. Oh, here's the other little letter that was there. The best thing, what I'm most excited for is this frozen duct tape. I'm sure you can all hear like the air conditioning gets in there. And I didn't do a very good job at like taping the ceiling part. I mean, it's sealed shut. It's just, I needed more duct tape and I kind of ran out of it. So now I actually have like duct tape. And it's, it's there's, there's quite a bit on the roll. Um, it's frozen duct tape. I just, I just like it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm weird. And uh, we did get this little journal part there as well. And some hair bands. I think that's everything. That was super fucking fun. 
That's a great idea. Like, I walked by that, and I'm like, I don't want to open that, because I got no fucking clue what's in there. That was fun. 15 bucks for all this shit. Half of it's going to get donated, which is fine. Just going to make sure that I find people that really need the donation part, but there's always people in need, for sure. Oh, look at that. My alarm is going off, because I need to take medication to help with the symptoms of the autoimmune disorders and all that whatnot. And to make sure that I, I don't forget them, I make a timer, which is just a good idea. Me sharing my ideas. So that was that was all of this. Oh yeah, and the pig. That old pig. <laughs> this is so much fun. I do not regret. This is like the best fifteen dollars I've spent in my life. That was so much fun. So if you had fun along with me, leave a like, leave a comment, or don't. I don't really care. This is all for fun, and I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you're safe. I hope you're being everything that you can be. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.